post. The fifth season is underway. Intimidating breaks best, Maka's reward away second, Golden Bullet breaks third, then Jailhouse and Flight Risk at the rail. Run Tappy has dropped back to the back of the pack, On Patrol passes him, as does Derecho Warrior, then the stablemates of a long gray line and pocket personality as they turn to the backstretch, and here's Intimidating to be a neck in front. Intimidating just in front of Maka's reward in second, Golden Bullet looks sharp early. He's a smart third and about a length and a quarter from the front. Flight Risk has four lengths to make up. Outside of him goes Jailhouse. Then Derecho Warrior, midfield with about five to come. Long Gray Line has six lengths to make up. He's on the move and goes to the inside. On Patrol and Pocket Personality are next, and the trailer is Run Tappy. There's a half mile left to run. Intimidating still narrowly in front with Maka's reward at the rail. No excuses for Golden Bullet. He's got the perfect trip, and he's a length and a quarter from the lead. Flight Risk is at the rail. Long gray line is about to move from fifth up into maybe third or second, but on the front end, here comes Golden Bullet to make his move outside of Intimidating. Intimidating at the quarter mile marker is about to lose the lead to Golden Bullet, who is cruising up on the outside. And here is Golden Bullet to take the lead, and he's two in front right now. Golden Bullet now in front. Derecho Warrior and Flight Risk to the outside run Tappy, but it is Golden Bullet to the 16th, and now he pours it on. Golden Bullet is five in front. Run Tappy might get second. He will not win. The opener goes to Golden Bullet. Yes. Golden Bullet won by six. Run Tappy second. The Derecho Warrior was third and flight risk. Finish fourth. They're at the post. They're off. Terrible start for Bunko, Bronco Blanco. Crow Mountain and Rio Del Rio with Baba Duke between horses. Supercharger away is smart fourth, fourth, and it's Crow Mountain up the back stretch. Crow Mountain leads Baba Duke by a half length. Rio Del Rio races in third. Supercharger is a fourth and a length and a half in front of Young Bull and Gone Dancing. Two back to Drexel. Then comes Risky Boy and Traffic Control. Blanco Bronco is second to last, and the trailer is Fire Two as they go into the far turn, and Crow Mountain is the leader. It is Crow Mountain. Mountain, a length in front of Bubba Duke in a second. Now Supercharger makes his move three deep, and here comes Supercharger within a half length of the lead. Drexel, the first time starter, follows him, and four of them line up at the top of the stretch. Crow Mountain, Bubba Duke, a three wide Supercharger, a four wide Drexel, and these four across the track, and here's Supercharger to take over the lead. Supercharger now two lengths in front. Drexel has moved into second. Crow Mountain is third. Rio Del Rio between horses, but it's Super. Supercharger clear, and now he's three in front. Crow Mountain and Rio Del Rio with Young Bull. Supercharger in front. Supercharger won by four. Young Bull got second. Crow Mountain third. Drexel finished fourth. They're off. Rolling with Olin breaks best, goes for the front. Dan the go-to man, hard sent at the rail. Bajan Cash and Chip Van Winkle with bow and arrow. It's rolling with Olin up the back stretch. A half length in front of Dan the go-to man who moves at the rail in second. Bow and arrow is third and in a good striking spot two from the front. Then comes Bajan Cash between horses, Candy Rock, Chip Van Winkle, Davka and a drink with the Irish. They're all in that third flight, all about five from the front. Seeky and I still got it 
have seven lengths to make up, and the trailer is Summer Disco, and the new leader is Dan the Go-To Man. Dan the Go-To Man to the quarter pole. Now a three-length advantage over Bow and Arrow, and Bow and Arrow now just cut it to a length and a half. He's on the move after Dan the Go-To Man. Dan the Go-To Man now only a half length. Here's Bow and Arrow right alongside. Three back to Candy Rock, and I still got it. Dan the Go-To Man has turned away Bow and Arrow. Dan the Go-To Man back in front by three, and he's got it. Dan the Go-To Man, Bow and Arrow to the outside Candy Rock, and Siki Dan the Go-To Man. Dan the Go-To Man won by four in the end. Bow and Arrow was second, Siki third, Candy Rock finished fourth. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. Because Arkansas residents can bet on races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime from anywhere. Download the Oaklawn Anywhere app or visit oaklawnanywhere.com to sign up. Sign up now and you can qualify for a bonus of up to $150. Best of all, Oaklawn Anywhere is a free betting service with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Springs.org. West Rock Coffee is made from the highest quality beans available, grown by passionate farmers in East Africa. We continually educate our farmers to ensure that they have the latest tools and training, which result in the highest quality coffee. In doing so, we make sure that every worker is able to build a good life for themselves and their families. Each cup of West Rock Coffee enriches the lives of both those who drink it and, more importantly, those who grow it. West Rock works wonders. They're off. Awkward start, letters to Bell. Good start, gun club, sweet Giselle, and she's a truckin' at the rail. Adari is close up, Helena is midfield, and they run up the backstretch, and here comes she's a truckin' through to challenge for the lead. Right alongside her, it's Tale of La Comet. Sweet Giselle is four wide, five wide is gun club. Adari is in between horses, then two back to Helena and What a Fox, followed by Scheherazade, and the two trailers are letters to Bell and Electris. She's a truckin', a narrow leader from a three-wide Adari. Tail of La Comet is white there between horses. These three across the track. Gun Club's on the move. She is five wide, but moving up. And here's the black cap of Gun Club to beat Sweet Giselle to the quarter pole. Top of the stretch in a five-wide run for Gun Club. Following her is Shahrazad, who's got a chance. Tail of La Comet still very much a part of this battle, and she's a trucking gun club just in front. What a fox tries to find a way through to the outside, and Shahrazad. It is still gun club. What a fox between horses. Shahrazad to the outside, and here comes Shahrazad to take over the lead. Shahrazad in front. Shahrazad beat Adari, who battled back through from the inside to be second. Gun club third. What a fox fourth. They're off. Outrun the posse, broke well. So did a hard scent, flashy Indian, purely given. One son of a... Of 
a chief and at the rail goes Proven Warrior. So it will be outrun the posse up the back stretch, a half length in front of Proven Warrior in second. Three quarters to Flashy Indian who moves up nicely in the Caldwell Silks within a length of the lead. Rockport Cat, purely given. Justice for the mob and at the rail, Go Vo are all next. One son of a chief is moving up. He is five wide in the green, but now within three of the front. Five back to Gotta Curlin and Archie with Tiz Showbiz and the trailer is Reflector and they run around the far turn, outrun the posse. Two challengers at the rail, Proven Warrior, and still the omnipresent Flashy Indian who is moving beautifully. And here comes your new leader, Flashy Indian off the top of the turn is now a half length in front. Outrun the posse is second. One son of a chief's got a chance. Then justice for the mob, Flashy Indian final furlong. Now leads by a length from one son of a chief who's coming after him in second. Between horses goes Rockport Cat, Flashy Indian. One son of a chief reflector flies late flashy indian flashy indian beat one a son of a chief it's close for third between a flying reflector and rockport cap She's in, they're at the post. They're off. Irish Mischief, Motion Emotion, At the Rail, Ultimate Mo, More Moet, Please, and Lovely Flash are all close up. Drop Dead Gorgeous is next, and up the backstretch, Motion Emotion has the lead. It is Motion Emotion, a half length in front of Irish Mischief and More Moet, Please. A length and a half to Ultimate Mo, fourth at the rail, and a half length in front of Lovely Flash, who has four lengths to make up. Drop Dead Gorgeous and Goodbye Earl are six off the lead. At the Rail goes Take Charge Matrix with seven lengths to make up. Two lengths further back to Palace Princess, and the trailer is a Sky Freak, and the leader is Motion Emotion. Motion Emotion, a half length in front of Irish Mischief, who has every chance from there in second. Ultimate Mo drives at the rail third, three from the front, then drop dead gorgeous top of the stretch. Motion Emotion is still there, and in fact gets a two length lead over Irish Mischief in second. Ultimate Mo is at the rail in third. Motion Emotion to the sixth. 16th pole, Ultimate Moe's trying to get up into second, Irish Mischief, Motion Emotion, Ultimate Mo and Irish Mischief, Motion Emotion in front. Motion Emotion won by a length and a half, Ultimate Mo was second, Irish Mischief third, Drop Dead Gorgeous finished fourth. At Coors, our mountain is creating a more sustainable world. It's why we pioneered the recyclable can, made our breweries landfill free, and built the most powerful solar array at any one brewery in the country. But our climb is far from over, so we keep pushing forward. Coors Light, whatever your mountain, climb on. Local favorite Bones Chop House offers premium in-house cut steaks, fresh seafood, and a full-service bar with a great selection of wines and spirits. Open Tuesday through Sunday, they offer nightly dinner specials. And join them on your way to the track Sunday for brunch. Located at 3920 Central Avenue in Hot Springs. Hearty eating and good company at Bones Chop House. Ministry, Ms. 51st Street Division of Chocolate, Ministry in front. J.E.'s hand-me-down to the wire. J.E.'s hand-me-down. Who Nani Road wins the rainbow. And here's Georgia's reward between horses. Firewater rocket back to second. Georgia's reward, yes. Glacken's Ghost suddenly three in front. Chant me up, baby, and racer try for second. Glacken's Ghost.
They're at the post. They're off. Slow start, Talbia, good start, Irish Marvel. Kata away sharply, as is Rain Tree Starlet, and it is Irish Marvel up the back stretch. Rain Tree Starlet and Kata are second and a third. Then it's two and a half back to Peruvian appeal with Miss Jimena and at the rail. Here comes Talbia. Talbia, who broke badly, is now only two and a half off the front. To the outside, Peruvian appeal had to check sharply off heels and a Peruvian appeal drops all the way back to last. A lot of trouble for her as they sort themselves out to the quarter pole and Rain Tree Starlet is the leader. It is Rain Tree Starlet now a length in the front. Mucha Mesquina is on the move and here comes a big long shot in Mucha Mesquina all the way up to challenge for the front. Two Two and a half back to Tall Bia. Final furlong and Rain Tree Starlet is now two lengths in front. Mucha Mesquina is still second to the outside in Tall Bia. Third and beautiful tail. They come to the final 16th and it's still Rain Tree Starlet two in front. Mucha Mesquina is second. Peruvian appeal re-rallies. Re it is Rain Tree Starlet in front. Rain Tree Starlet beat Mucha Mesquina. Tall Bia a good third. Peruvian appeal a great fourth. They're at the post. They're off. Gray attempt without being sent makes the lead from six shooter and boulder. At the rail, long range toddy, then bank it in the center. Sleepy eyes Todd between horses for love of countries in a tight spot. And the early trailer is super steed and the early easy leader is gray attempt. Gray attempt to the back stretch is a length and a half in front of long range toddy in second. Boulder is to the outside third in the red and two from the front. For love of country, six shooter and sleepy eyes Todd all make up the next flight they're all three from the front then it's two back to super steed and bank it will have to close into easy fractions and pass them all they're midway on the back stretch in the 12th running of the smarty jones the finish line is the 16th pole and they run towards the far turn with gray attempt easily still in front three quarters of a length now for love of country and boulder begin to run after him second and third long range tardy stays at the rail fourth He's two from the front. Six shooter has five lengths to make up. Bankett is unwinding now, but he's still got six lengths to make up. And here they come into the short stretch of the mile run. We miss you, Terry. Top of the stretch. Gray attempt continues to lead. He's two lengths in front of Boulder in second. Long range toddy set down at the rail and here he comes. Gray attempt comes to the final 16th and leads the length. Long range toddy. Boulder six shooter. Not today for Bankin. Gray attempt. Long range toddy. Gray attempt wins the Smarty Jones. Gray attempt beat long range toddy. Boulder was third, six shooter fourth. Want to know the most exciting use of your iPhone or iPad? It's the Oaklawn Anywhere app. Oaklawn Anywhere is available in the App Store, and Arkansas residents can download it for free. Then you can bet online anytime on your iPhone or iPad and get cashback rewards. Sign up today using promo code APP, and you can earn as much as a $150 bonus. The Oaklawn Anywhere app opens up a world of top racing action wherever you are. From Oaklawn, home of the Arkansas Derby and the Racing Festival of the South, to racing at tracks across the world, you can bet and watch right from your iPhone or iPad. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing.
find this place at hotsprings.org. Check out Hot Springs' newest and favorite taco destination, Capos Tacos, located across from Oaklawn Park on Higdon Ferry. Or visit us at Blue Monkey Grill, one of Hot Springs' favorites for over 15 years. They're off. Slow start for Rising Star. Tut's Revenge and Passion Play shows speed. Stock chains are smart third. Laughing Fox away at the rail in fourth and split the wickets. Gigging is tightly behind horses at the clubhouse turn. Then comes Renamo and Georgia Deputy, followed by Life's Been Good So Far. Then Stolen at Thunder and Brush Country, and the trailer is the slow starting Rising Star. To the backstretch with Passion Play in front three quarters of a length to Tut's Revenge in second. Stock change. Well placed by Valdivia, third and two from the front, a length and a half, two. Blushing Fox at the rail. Then it's a length and a half, two. Ste split the wickets, fifth with five lengths to make up. Two back, two gigging. Then another length and a half, two. Life's been good so far. Renamo and Georgia Deputy, all seven from the front. Brush Country still has only two beat. They are Rising Star and Stolen Thunder as they leave the backstretch. And Passion Play is the one to catch. Passion Play, a half length in front of Tut's Revenge in second. Stock Chain in the yellow cap in good striking position, and he moves up third. Blushing Fox stays at the rail, still with a chance. Renamo's on the move. Here's Renamo, four deep and four from the front. Then comes Split the Wickets, top of the stretch, and it's still Passion Play and Tut's Revenge. Passion Play, half ahead in front of Tut's Revenge in second. Stock Chain now two behind in third. Renamo is fourth. Life's been good so far. Passion Play, final furlong now leads. Here's Blushing Fox in the white blaze face, and he looks like he could be tough. Passion play to the 16th pull. Blushing, laughing Fox comes alongside. Passion play, laughing Fox to the outside. Laughing Fox, passion play, laughing Fox in front. Laughing Fox beat passion play. Brush Country was third. Stock Chain finished fourth. Maybe Tut's Revenge for fifth. <laughs> 